Hey, what's up guys, this is Neeraj and welcome back to this brand new video. At first, let's talk about what we're gonna do in this video. In this video, I'll show you guys how we can upload image inside this Cloudinary using a Node.js and Express server. Now, previously you saw that we are using this MongoDB to store our user profile image as a binary format, right? Now we don't want to do that. We want to upload our profile image inside this Cloudinary and we are going to link that URL to our user inside this MongoDB database. Now I'll not show you guys how you can create accounts and all things, okay? I think as a developer, you need to know how to create accounts and all things. So just go and create your account inside this Cloudinary. It will not ask you for any credit card or anything like that. It's completely free for basic uses and you can create your free account, that's it, okay? And it will give you some credit and that's enough for this project. Maybe for your next project, I don't know. Now after creating your account, this Cloudinary will provide you this API key secret and this environment variable. You just need to come to this dashboard and you need to copy all of those things one by one and you need to put it inside your environment variable. Let me show you how we can do that. As you can see currently, I'm inside my backend folder. This is my environment variable. This is my .env file. Here we need to put our Cloudinary username, API key and this API secret, which you will get from here, okay? Now here, I'll not show you my API key, API secret. This is a sensitive data. So what I will do, I'll paste them here and I'll save this file and I'll jump this video to the next frame. Okay, now after adding all of your data inside your environment variable, save that file. And if you're running your backend server, then restart that server. Now after that, here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go inside this routes user.js because here we have this upload profile and we have all of the logic inside this file. So quickly, I'm going to cut this logic from here. Let's cut this out. And I'm going to add inside our controller. For that, I'm going to go down. Let's create method. Also export it with this export start. Upload profile. And I'll paste that logic here. Now here we are using the SARP and this user okay we already have this user so i'm going to quickly import the sarp or we can go here and copy the sarp from here and paste it here and by the way here we are using the sarp to optimize our image you can see right but here what we'll do we will not use this sarp we will use this cloudinary to optimize our image but for now let's leave it like this save this file come to this and we are going to import that upload profile here okay and here you can see we are using this uploads.single and this is from our multer we're using multer to handle our incoming file right so first let's remove this sarp and user because we are not using it here and now here you can see we are using this memory storage as the in storage engine for this multer. Now here we need to remove this. Let's reuse different one disk storage. And here we can pass this empty object like this. Now after doing this, we will get this file inside our controller. So let's save this file, come to this. Now here I'm going to first show you guys. Let's log our request.file. Now first I'll go to this postman and I'll create an account for that you need to hit to this URL create user okay let's come to this now I have all of this full name email confirm password let's save this data and here you can see I have this account created with this email and this password so let's copy this email because here we are going to log in so let's log in here okay. and for this login we need to go to this endpoint sign in remove this full name and this confirm password and let's send this sorry for my silly mistake this is not seeing this is sign sign let's send this and here we have a token so let's copy this token because to upload profile picture user needs to be authenticated so let's copy this and we need to go inside this headers and here we'll add this authorization and here we can add this JWT space this key or this token. Okay, now we want to send our image file to our backend. So for that, we need to come to this body and this form data. Now from here, we can send our data. So for that first, let's see what field name we are using. We are using this profile. So let's come here and let's use this key name. 
profile and from this drop down you can select this file and let's select this image any of the image that you like now we need to change this url as well upload profile i guess now if i send this data server error try after some time why it says let's see okay that error is because some other region but here we have our request file you can see inside this console right and also at the end you can see we have this path name we can use this path to upload this image inside our cloudinary let's hide this terminal for now come here now before we upload our image inside this cloudinary first we need to configure cloudinary for that first i'll create this brand new folder called helper and inside here i'll create this new file called image upload and here first we need to require a cloudinary for that we need to install that so let's quickly come to this terminal and let's npm install cloudinary let's install it okay let's clear our terminal and again we can start our server and hide this terminal i'll import that cloudinary here Now from this cloud in here, I'll import this version 2, okay? And now we can use this cloudinary.config and inside this object, we need to pass some configuration options like this API key, API secret, and also cloud name. And all of these will be come from our process.env. You remember that at first we are storing all of those value inside our environment variable right now we are going to use that here like this you can see magic right here we have our cloudinary username api key and this api secret let's save this but before saving this file we need to export it as well so let's use this module dot exports equal to cloudinary let's save this file now you can come to this controllers and here we can import that cloudinary let's import this because our auto import is not working so we need to go to this and go one folder up helper and image upload okay now we can come down now here we can use this cloudinary dot uploader dot upload and at first you can see we need to pass our file and that will be this request.file.path now as the second argument we can pass some options inside this object which will help us to optimize our image now first i want to give this a custom file name so for that here i'll use this public id and to create a custom file name first i'll wrap everything inside this template later and i'll use this user underscore id and at the end i'll add this underscore profile now this will create a unique image file name okay after this i'll add this width i want to optimize this image so let's make us width 500 and also we are going to change its height and i'll make it 500 as well and at the end we can pass another option called crop and i'll use this fill now this process is asynchronous task so first we need to await for its result and let's store its result inside this result variable for now what i will do i'll comment out everything and i'll log this result to our terminal clg let's save this file and let's try to upload this again and it will hang i know and inside this terminal you can see we have this object and this is coming from our cloudinary you can see this is our public id this is our mongodb id and this profile is coming from here right now if you come down then here you can see we have this url now if you control and click on this url let's open it and you can see this is the image that is coming from our cloudinary and this is our original image this is what happened because we are cropping this image by this 500 and 500 pixel right 
Now this is the perfect place if you guys are not following me on my another channel then you can do that. I remember this because this thumbnail is from that channel okay. I'll leave its link in the description box below if you want to you can follow me there as well. Now if you don't want to crop that image then you can remove these parts but make sure it will store lots of image inside your cloudinary and it will fill your free plan and it might cost you some money as well but I'll leave it like this. Now let's hide this terminal and I'll remove this code from here. Uncomment this. Now we are not using any sharp and things so what I will do I'll remove everything from here and let's come up and we are going to add this inside our try block let's format our code quickly now here you can see we are updating our user so how, what i will do i'll update this with this result dot url now let's save this file come to our postman and let's change this image to something else Okay, I will use this image. So let's open it and let's send this file. And we are sending requests. Okay, your profile has updated. Let's come to this database. Let's refresh our database. Come down. Okay, here is the mistake, guys. Here you can see this binary. Now we need to go to this models and we need to change our avatar type from this to a string save this file and let's send this again okay profile has updated refresh our database and here you can see we have this url let's copy this url now if i go to this url and you can see guys this is our profile image now if you want to see that same image inside your cloudinary then you can simply go to this cloudinary and this media library now here you can see this is your image if you click on this then you will see that same image here and as you can see here we don't have that previous image and that is because we are using that same name like that user id underscore profile so that's why our image is overridden by this image okay now if you guys want to dive deep and know more about this cloud entry then i'll highly recommend you to go and read some documentations and in the next video i'll show you guys how you can upload this same profile image from your front end using react native and as always i hope you like this video and learn something new if this is the case then don't forget to hit that like button subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in my next video